Hi everyone, Brian here with Karani Sounds, and I'm excited today to share with you our new contact libraries, Analog Tales and Analog Nightmares. These are our most ambitious and intuitive libraries we've developed yet, and improve upon our powerful smart randomizer functions. Both of these libraries are sampled from analog synths with a pure and true analog signal path, giving you access to excellent analog sounds without the high price tag of new gear. You'll be able to create vintage and modern leads, keys, basses, pads, plucks, and more. And the additional smart randomizer features will make creating new sounds easier and more fun than ever before. We've also included over 100 artist presets, which are a great starting point to hear all that this library has to offer. When I first load up Analog Tales, you'll notice that the interface is very simple. With this big knob here in the center, and all of the smart randomizer functions available at the bottom. The big knob here will blend between the right side and the left side modules. Which we'll be able to see if we click here on the Advanced View tab. In Advanced View, you can see we have four separate modules here, which can be turned on or off at any time by clicking the X here, or clicking the power button to turn it back on. You'll notice here we have the browser for selecting different sounds. In each of these modules, we can load from 10 different analog synth patches. To the left of the browser, we have our volume control here and our panning control next to that. Here we have the ADSR envelope controls. If I click this button here, it will switch between the ADSR controls for the gain and the filter. The gain is represented in blue, while the filter is represented in orange. The ADSR controls for the filter will only be activated if you have the filter turned on. Finally, we have controls to adjust the octave of the sound here, as well as the wow effect, which is a slight tape detuning. Below that, we have the control to turn on and off the profit style filter, with knobs beneath it to adjust the frequency and resonance. <laughs> Next to that is our LFO controls, and the LFO can be applied to the gain, the filter, or both at the same time. This will adjust the amount of the LFO, and this will adjust the shape. <laughs> To adjust the speed or the rate of the LFO, you can click the half time, standard time, or double time buttons down here. Next to that is the dimension control, 
which is a vintage style ensemble effect. You can adjust the rate, feedback, the amount, as well as the mix of the effect here. Finally, we have the algorithmic hall reverb, which you can turn on here, as well as a simple tone control or equalizer here. Now I'm going to jump down into the lower left module here. You'll notice the controls here are identical, except the bottom two have controls for delay instead of the dimension effect. So the top two have the dimension, and the bottom two have a delay. The right and left side offer a slightly different delay as well. One is a bucket style delay, and the other is a modern delay. All of the effects have been calibrated so that even when they're all turned on, on all four modules, the result will still be organic and musical. Let's move down to the final row here, where we have the important sublayer here. We have three different options for the sublayer, each sampled from an analog sub oscillator. Next, we have the master effects over here, which include a master filter, along with the frequency and resonance controls, the master tone control, or EQ here, and then finally a master glue, which applies compression and a limiter. It's important not to miss this one. Right next to the instrument name here is a link control. If you turn this on, any control that we alter on one of them will control all of the other four. This is handy when you want to set the same values for a certain control, like setting all of the volumes, effect parameters, etc. on all modules at once instead of one at a time. Now that we've got the basics out of the way, let's explore the incredible smart randomizer functions here along the bottom panel. With the built-in Smart Random Bar, you can control over 160 on-screen controls with just one click of the mouse. The beauty of these random controls is that they're carefully adjusted to give you a musically inspiring sound no matter what, so you'll always get a useful sound no matter how many times you randomize. All of these smart randomizer functions are available from the simple interface too, so you don't even need to access all of the parameters to get great new sounds instantly. You can even assign your MIDI controllers knobs to any of these randomizers with MIDI Learn to go completely mouse free when creating your custom patches with the smart random controls. Let's explore exactly what each of these blocks do. The first panel here will change the actual articulation that's being played. This one represents a lead. This one will be a key. This one will be a pad. And finally, this one will be a pluck. Clicking each will just cycle through variations of each articulation. So if you want a new lead, just click this again and again and it will come up with something new. To get a totally random articulation, 
just click the orange circle here. The next block here will randomize the sound source for each module. And then of course, hit the orange circle to randomize them all at once. This next one will randomize the LFO for each module. This one will randomize the filter. And this one will randomize the individual effects on each module. So for the top two, we have the dimension effect. And the bottom two, we have the delay. Again, to randomize all of the effects, the dimension and the delay for all of the modules, just click this orange circle. This one will randomize the reverb for each module, and then finally the tone controls here. Hitting this orange circle here will randomize all of these effects I just mentioned in this block. Finally, we have controls here to randomize the master filter and the master tone. These two at the top will randomize them very slightly. You'll notice subtle differences in the frequency and the resonance here. The one on the bottom will randomize it a bit more extreme. You'll notice stronger changes here in those two knobs. Same with the tone. Subtly up here, and then more extreme down here. And finally, this orange circle here randomizes everything on the smart random bar. I'll take this time now to show you some of the sounds in Analog Nightmares, which is a little bit more dark. However, the controls and the interface is exactly the same. It's just the sound sources that are a bit different here. Thanks so much for watching this walkthrough and we really hope you enjoy using Analog Tales and Analog Nightmares. Be sure to check out KaraniSounds.com for more information and lots of great sound demos. Thanks again.